Welcome back to the channel. It's Plasma1945. Today we'll be talking about the MiG-29. This aircraft is available in Metal Storm, a mobile and PC game you can get for free right now. But let's talk about the history of the MiG-29 first before we talk about it in the game. MiG-29, codenamed Fulcrum, designed in Soviet Union, was a frontline fighter considered a light fighter designed for the frontline nations of the Warsaw Pact. First flew in 1977, set a world record in 1995 for climbing to 82,000 feet. That's a 25 kilometer altitude. And if you've liked this video, make sure you hit thumbs up, like, and subscribe to the channel for more. It's available at hangar level 11 in Metal Storm. And here's what it looks like. And if you want to see the liveries, We've got all those at the end of the video for all of its skins. Now, it has no internal weapon base, so the weapons are all hanging on the outside of the airplane. Two very powerful engines that do like to suck up your afterburner fuel quite quick, but it comes with an extra fuel tank. So if you have a MiG-21, you will appreciate this because once your main afterburner fuel runs out, well, your tank will keep you going. Total of six air-to-air -air missiles and a cannon. For medium range, it has the R-27 missiles. These are the Alamo missiles, and they've got a base damage of 85. They are a manual seeker missile, so you have to keep the lock until the missile hits. Short range missiles, these are the R-73s by what I can tell. They kind of look like the R-60s, if I'm going to guess they're the R-73s. And these are small, lightweight missiles, which have short range capability for heat seekers, fire and forget. The cannon is powerful with an overheat of 4.6 seconds. It is a 30 millimeter cannon, so it will do quite a bit of damage. But the main thing about this plane is the fact that every time you rearm, you will get extra fuel. And that means you can get back into afterburner real quick. So let's jump into it and fly this plane for this mission. And uh, I'll switch over to mission comms. Here we go, guys. First things first, climbing for altitude. We've got the extra fuel as our bonus. It's not 50%, it's about 25%. SC-34 on the nose. Box 1. Good hit. SC-33 coming in. Good hit. Switch to Fox 2s. Let's clean this up. One missile out. Another missile. F-16. That's actually the natural competitor to the MiG-29. An F-106 here. This is in the mix, but we're not going to bother with him. We're going to hit the brakes. We're going to grab some more missiles. We're going to target the SU-33 coming in. Right, F-106 coming in. Missiles on me. Multiple missiles. I don't think I'm going to survive. Ooh, I get knocked out. Its armor is not quite as powerful as the SU-27 or the Tomcat. All right, let's get back up to altitude. As you can see on the left-hand side, the MiG-29 does have a very specific turn rate. It likes to be fast. Bad shot there. SU-33 is going to be my target. SU-34 down low. Flash, hit the brakes, snap around really quick. Multiple missiles on me. Defending. Looks like I've got someone on my six, I'm not sure who that is. Ring around the mountain. It's Splash, F-106. Two Fox 2s out to get him. Box two times two. As soon as you rearm, you've got the extra fuel in this plane. All right, switch to long range missiles. Scan the far field. F-22 coming in. He's got stealth, no point shooting at him from range. F-106, let's knock him out. F-16 on my six. This is the plane that I was designed to fight with. Tangle with the F-16. Right, my friends got him. SC-34 coming through. 
cannons, 30 millimeter, high power cannon. Uh oh, I've got a Fox 1 on me. Barely survive. No, I'm out of flares. This is it. Holy, nope, that was it. I got knocked out. F-16. Right back up to altitude. These, uh, the R-27s are similar to the, uh, NATO Sparrow missile, which is on the F-4. Similar to the missile that's on the 530. Let's get a shot on that SC-34. Knock him down. SC-33. Knock him down. Fox 2s. And you just hit the water. F-16 coming in. That's it. There's your victory in the Epic MiG-29. Let me know if you guys fly the MiG-29 and how you guys handle this plane. I have an upgrade. All right, so there we've had a good fight in the MiG-29. And let's take a peek at the available paints and liveries for this aircraft. So you've got the boneyard look with all the colors removed. You've got the Russian Air Force with the light blue sky pattern. You've got the Angry Shark, as well as the Angry Shark on blue, and the Deadeye with high visibility orange markings. And there's two liveries for the Ukrainian Air Force, one of which is the digital camel pattern, and one is the Ukrainian Air Force show team, which is the Avenging Falcon. I think the Ghost of Kiev digital camel pattern is probably the most popular. It also looks like a lot a lot like a Polish uh, livery and the uh, Eastern European nation livery. So you can easily convert those into other nations liveries by attaching the proper roundels on the wings. And of course, there's many available for multiple countries, whether you want to drop in a Russian roundel on the wing, or you can even drop in a Ukrainian one. So there you have it. That is the MiG-29. I'll see you guys in the air, like, comment, and subscribe.